Next section will create a component. Here we've built a collection of separate objects that make up a table. Pick all the objects with the pick tool. Then select the create component tool. Then click a point to define the origin of the component, such as the corner point of the leg. This is the insertion point when you place the component in your project. Type in a name for the component, such as side table. Click the OK button and the new component is added to the project library in the components palette under the components tab. Observe that the components palette is divided into two tabs, one for components and the other for windows and doors, which is covered in a separate tutorial. We can now use the place component tool to place this item multiple times in our project. Observe that the insertion point is at the corner of the leg. The only option in the Tool Options palette when creating a component is the Replace with Component option. If this option is on, which is the default, then all the selected objects are deleted and replaced as a single component. If this option is off, then all the selected objects are used to define a component in the Components palette, but the selected objects remain separate objects. The component we just created is available only in this project. If we want to have access to this item in other projects, then we can either A, copy and paste this component into another project, or B, export the component into a custom library on our hard drive for permanent access in other projects. To export a custom library, we'll first create a brand new library. Click on the new component library icon and type a name such as Matt's Furniture and click the OK button and this creates a new empty library folder on your hard drive. Go back to the project library, select the desired component, then either click on the Export Component to Library icon or right click on the component and choose Export Side Table to Library. Type a different name for the exported component if desired. In our example we'll just use the same name and then choose the Matt's Furniture Library that we've just created and then click the OK button. And the component is exported to a BNZ file and placed in the Matt's Furniture Library on your hard drive. You can now access this component from any Bonsai 3D file on this computer and or you can move the library to another machine. It should be noted that these files are not saved on your Bonsai 3D application folder. The library folder and the BNZ file you just created are located in your custom Bonsai 3D content folder which is located in your Users Documents Bonsai 3D folder on your computer. Now that we've learned that custom libraries are just BNZ files stored in a folder on your computer, let's look at another way of creating components. In this example, I'll place some BNZ files in a folder named Matt's Miscellaneous Items. Then move this folder into the Bonsai 3D content folder located in your Users Documents Bonsai 3D folder. Note that this is the same location where the Matt's Furniture folder is located. Return to Bonsai 3D and observe that the folder has now become a library of components ready to be placed in your scene. If the library doesn't show up, then click on the Refresh Libraries button to refresh all possible component links. In this last section, we'll examine ways to edit components after they are placed in your model. For example, start a new project. Select the Place Component tool and observe in the Components palette that the project library is empty because we didn't place any items yet. Choose the Matt's Furniture Library and place a few instances of the side table we created earlier. Select the Pick tool and right click on any component and choose Edit Group. Make some changes. For example, we'll add another shelf by using the Move and the Copy icon to copy the shelf up. And when we're done, right click and choose Edit Group Complete. Observe that the change is propagated to all the other placed components in our project. Please keep in mind a very important point when editing components. If you edit a component by opening it up from the project library in the components palette or by right clicking on it in the modeling window and choosing edit group as we just described, the changes affect only the items in that project. 
This editing procedure does not resave the changes back to any original BNZ file on your computer hard drive. We'll show this by placing another instance of the side table from the original Matt's Furniture Library, not the project library. Observe that the previous edit we performed on the project component has no effect on the original library file on our computer's hard drive. Another important point to remember when editing components is that if you edit an item from a custom library in the components palette, not the project library, the changes affect only the original BNZ file stored on your computer hard drive. Any components that are already placed in your project are not automatically updated. This is because the project components in your project are already embedded in your file. For example, open the BNZ library file by opening the side table from the Matt's Furniture Custom Library in the components palette. Make a few changes such as deleting the bottom shelf. Then we'll save and close this library file. As you return to the project, observe that the changes that we made to the original library file on the computer hard drive don't automatically update any components that were already placed in the project. In addition, place another instance of the side table from the Matt's Furniture Library and see that the new instance we place is the updated library file from the computer's hard drive. If desired, you can synchronize modified custom components on your computer hard drive with project components already placed in a project. Select Project Info from the Help pull-down menu. Click on the Linked Files tab to display the status of your linked files. A green check mark indicates that the project component and the original BNZ file on the computer hard drive are both in sync. A yellow triangle with an exclamation mark indicates that the original BNZ file on the computer's hard drive has been changed and is not the same as the component placed in this project. If you would like to synchronize a component, just click on the component in the list to highlight it, then click on the Synchronize button to refresh its link with the original BNZ library file on the computer's hard drive. Observe that the status is now a green check mark. Click the OK button and see that all the components that were placed from the Matt's Furniture Library are refreshed with a changed file, except for the three in back because they were edited inside the project, causing the link to the original file to be lost. And this concludes the Bonsai 3D Components video tutorial.